Hi everyone, um, I'm Steve, I'm still being an online guitar teacher because we're still indoors, hope you're all safe, hope you're all well. Um, if you haven't been following these, we're just doing some very, very simple um, guitar videos, just some very simple riffs. Um, if you've got a guitar at home, up in the loft, anything like that, and you can grab it down and we'll try and get a tune out of it while we're indoors. Um, today's tune, we're going to try and do Sunshine of Your Love by Cream. Um, the guitarist on that was Eric Clapton, but it's been covered uh, so many times by so many famous guitar players. Um, so if you've got a guitar, it doesn't have to be an electric guitar, it could be a classical guitar, an acoustic guitar, any types of strings on it. Doesn't necessarily need to have six strings on it at this stage. If you play that on any string, it will work. Um, if you have got six strings on your guitar, you should have some that are thicker, some that are thinner. The ones that are thinner should be nearest to the floor. Um, again, apologies if you've seen these videos before, you've probably got to figure out how to tune your guitar by now. Um, but I'm just going to start giving you some tuning notes. I'm going to play each string. To tune that string, if you follow uh, the string up, there should be a peg of some sort at the end. You're going to turn that peg back or forth to try and get yours to sound like mine. Um, if that's a bit too tricky, there's lots of um, apps and, and things like that that you can get guitar tuners for, and there'll be um, explanations on how to work those on Google and things like that. Um, but if you need it, there's your thinnest string. There's the next string up. And then the third one up the floor. And then the fourth one up when it starts to get a bit thicker. And then fifth one up. And then your thicker string. Like that. So we take your thicker string. Um, if it's too loose and it sounds like that, you need to turn anti-clockwise until you get it in tune. If you go, if it's too high and it sounds higher than mine, bring it down. And you should be able to get it in tune. Like that. If you didn't quite catch those, obviously you can rewind this video and then work on each string. So the string we're going to use today, fourth one up from the floor, or your third thicker string, um, which is called D. Um, the neck is divided up into all these boxes. These boxes are called frets. Fret number one, two, three, four, all the way down the guitar. Yeah. We're going to start on fret 12, um, which if your guitar has got dots on it, it's got two dots on it. Um, same as always, if you press down really hard on that note, the better sound you're going to get. If you don't press down hard enough, you get more of a click, which doesn't really do it. It's always going to sound the same. Um, and again, on the wires, if you press the wires, you're not going to get a very pleasant sound. Um, so right in the middle of the box, press down as hard as you can on that 12. Um, the first part of this, we're going to play two 12s. So leave your finger on there the whole time. And then we're going to go to 10. So back to frets, and then back to 12 again. So you want 12, 12, 10, 12. And then one more time. After that, the next section, you're going to go to the seventh fret, which is the third dot on your guitar. We're going to play each fret. We're going to go seven, six, five. I'll try it one more time. So seven, six, five. So if you're going to join that up, you've got 12, 12, 10, 12. And then seven, six, five. Yeah. And um, if you want to look at if you've got dots on your guitar, you can look at it this way. Go 12, 12, 10, 12, and then miss a dot, go to the next dot. And then you're three in a row. After that, you're going to play an open string, so no fingers on there at all. And then the third fret, which is your first dot if you've got dots. And then open again. So your last bit, open three, open. So your whole thing, 12, 12, 10, 12, and then seven, six, five, open three, open. But again, 12, 12, 10, 12, seven, six, five, open three, open. Um, you, you might have watched a couple of these, we've been talking about one finger per fret. Um, if you can do that again, so you're looking at it almost in three positions really, but you've got your 12, 12, 10, 12, which would be your third finger, and then first finger back to your third finger. And then the second position, you've got the seven, six, five, so again, third finger, second finger, first finger, and then you're open, three open. Yeah, if you want to do it like that, then get your fingers working. You can do it that way the first part, and then follow your first finger down if you'd rather do that. If you're new to all of this and you just want to use one finger all the way through that, just to get you going. You can do it, but keep in mind you're only going to get so far using one finger on the guitar, um, so obviously try and develop the rest of the fingers when you can. Um, if you find that a little bit tricky to start with doing it on that D, because you're catching strings on either side of it, you can put it on your thinnest or your thick string. Next one. Just to keep your plectrum out of the way, if you don't have a plectrum at the moment, you can use a 10p or you can use your thumb or your 
finger. Anything like that is going to work. Um, if you listen to the song, um, YouTube, Spotify, anything like that, um, you will hear, I'll quickly show you this next part as well because it just changes string, that's all. Um, I want to go into kind of bars or minutes or how long it is before it happens. Um, in the verse, you will hear the singer's voice change. It goes higher up in pitch. When it does, you're going to change string. exercise anyway to roll that round a couple of times and then change to just makes it sound a little bit more interesting and then back if you want to do that um, like I've done with the last couple of videos if you haven't seen them um, there's a Queen song and a Ned Sheeran song and all that kind of thing um, you can follow my Facebook page um, which is www.facebook.com slash Steve Clear with an E um, guitarist um, or there's my YouTube page and things like that um, like I say in the other videos I've kind of done some power chord things if you're a bit more advanced and you want to kind of add these in or if you've got people at home that are good at the guitar and they can add this in while you play the easier part um, if you're going to do the power chord bit, you're going to go 5th fret on your A string, so your 2nd thickest string, there's your power chord shape, so instead of going there, you're going to go here, and then 7, 6, 5, open 3, it'll be the same, and then when it changes to so that higher part, just move that over string, so your power chords are there, and then 7, 6, 5, open 3. Open. Um, if you know your bar chords, again, I'm not going to go into massive details about this because you're obviously good enough. Um, that'll be there. Um, and you can gel that together um, as many people as you can. Um, again, if you've got an amp at home and it's got distortion or crunch or anything like that, um, if you put the crunch on, it gives it a little bit of, uh, bit of flavour, which is nice. Makes it sound a little bit more like the original one. Oh. There you go. Um, as always, hope you enjoy that. Hope you keep staying safe, um, and I'll keep pinging these up every couple of days for anyone that wants them. Thanks a lot.